As the sun set over the bustling city, casting long shadows across the streets, a sinister figure lurked in the darkness. A predator, skilled in the art of deception, who could blend into any environment and charm even the most suspicious of people. Little did the city's residents know that their lives would soon be touched by a chilling presence that defied understanding. In the mid-1990s, a series of seemingly unrelated murders began to unfold across Europe, Asia, and North America. As the body count rose, a disturbing pattern emerged. The victims from different backgrounds and social circles all shared a chilling commonality. Each had been betrayed by someone they held close. Unbeknownst to them, they had fallen prey to a master manipulator skilled in the art of deception and mimicry. Authorities soon found themselves chasing the shadow of a killer who defied categorization. This enigmatic figure had the uncanny ability to assume a wide range of identities, from a charming businessman in London to a friendly tourist in Beijing. They could blend seamlessly into any environment, evading detection, and leaving a trail of devastation in their wake. As investigators delved deeper into the Chameleon Killer's twisted world, they discovered a complex network of false identities, forged documents, and hidden catches of stolen funds. The killer seemed to have an almost supernatural ability to reinvent themselves, leaving no trace of their true identity behind. But as the investigation dragged on, the chilling scope of the Chameleon killer's crimes began to come into focus. They were not simply a master of disguise, they were a remorseless predator, feeding on the trust and vulnerability of their unsuspecting victims. For years, the Chameleon killer's reign of terror continued unabated, each new crime scene a testament to their cold-blooded cunning and ruthless efficiency. As the body count mounted and the pressure to solve the case intensified, investigators scrambled to find any shred of evidence that might finally bring this elusive figure to justice. But with every passing day, the chameleon killer seemed to slip further and further from their grasp, always one step ahead of those who sought to unmask them. The Chameleon Killer's first known victim was a wealthy businessman named Pierre Laurent, who lived in a luxurious Parisian apartment overlooking the Seine. He was well known in high society, admired for his philanthropy and respected for his business acumen. Little did he know that his life would soon become entwined with a malevolent force that would ultimately lead to his grisly demise. The Killer, adopting the persona of an ambitious entrepreneur named Jean-Pierre Dupont, managed to infiltrate Pierre's inner circle with ease. Jean-Pierre presented himself as a charismatic and successful businessman, quickly gaining Pierre's trust and admiration. As their professional relationship grew, Pierre began to confide in Jean-Pierre, sharing his deepest fears and aspirations. The stage was set for the Chameleon Killer's first strike. On a cold and rainy evening in November, Pierre invited Jean-Pierre to his apartment to celebrate the closing of a major business deal. The two men shared fine wine and laughter as they reveled in their newfound friendship. But beneath the veneer of camaraderie, the chameleon killer was carefully plotting his next move. As the night wore on, and the clock struck midnight, the killer seized their opportunity. In a brutal and calculated attack, Pierre was stabbed 23 times, each strike more forceful than the last. Blood stained the expensive carpet and splattered the priceless works of art that adorned the walls. With their grisly task complete, the chameleon killer vanished into the night, leaving no trace of Jean-Pierre Dupont behind. The lifeless body of Pierre Laurent lay in a pool of blood, a grim testament to the cold-blooded ruthlessness of the predator that had taken his life. As news of the murder spread across Paris, the authorities were left to pick up the pieces and begin the arduous task of hunting down a killer who could become anyone, at any time. This was only the beginning of a chilling and twisted tale that would span decades and reach across the globe, as the Chameleon Killer's reign of terror continued to claim more lives. As the Chameleon Killer disappeared from the streets of Paris, 
leaving Pierre Laurent's brutal murder unsolved, a chilling wave of violence began to sweep across the globe. From the bustling metropolis of Tokyo to the quiet suburbs of Toronto, the killer's reach seemed to know no bounds. In each new city, a fresh persona was crafted, allowing the predator to stalk their prey undetected. In London, the chameleon killer assumed the identity of a charming art dealer named Edward Whitmore. Using their extensive knowledge of the art world, the killer gained the trust of a prominent art collector before strangling her in her own home, surrounded by the priceless masterpieces she had spent her life acquiring. Meanwhile, in Hong Kong, the killer posed as a visiting professor from Oxford University, charming their way into the good graces of a wealthy philanthropist. As the two sat down for a private dinner in the philanthropist's mansion, the chameleon killer struck again, poisoning their victim's wine before vanishing into the night. And in Los Angeles, the killer adopted the role of a struggling screenwriter named Sarah Thompson. With dreams of stardom in her eyes, an aspiring actress befriended Sarah, inviting her into her home and sharing her most intimate secrets. Tragically, the trusting actress was found dead in her apartment, her life snuffed out by the very person she had confided in. These chilling murders, and many others like them, painted a terrifying picture of a killer who could effortlessly adapt to any situation and win the trust of their victims with ease. As the body count rose and the chameleon killer continued to elude capture, an aura of fear and uncertainty began to envelop the world. Investigators from multiple countries, all working tirelessly to solve these gruesome murders, soon found themselves collaborating on an international scale. It was a race against time, as the chameleon killer showed no signs of slowing down their campaign of terror. The world watched with bated breath, praying that this mysterious figure would finally be brought to justice before claiming yet another innocent life. Years of relentless pursuit had yielded little progress, and hope began to wane for the investigators who had dedicated their lives to unmasking the chameleon killer. But in 2008, a small and seemingly insignificant piece of evidence would become the catalyst for a groundbreaking discovery. In Tokyo, the killer had assumed the identity of a renowned chef named Kenji Nakamura. Under this guise, they had managed to gain the trust of a wealthy businessman only to end his life in a cruel act of violence. As the authorities come through the crime scene, they discovered a single fingerprint left behind on a wine glass, a seemingly careless mistake in an otherwise meticulously planned crime. At the same time, on the other side of the world, a dedicated detective in New York City was reviewing the evidence in the unsolved murder of a prominent psychologist. As he examined the crime scene photos, he noticed a familiar detail a single fingerprint found on a book in the victim's study. With a growing sense of anticipation, he reached out to his counterparts in Tokyo to compare the fingerprints. The results were undeniable. The fingerprints from both crime scenes were a perfect match. This crucial link allowed investigators from around the world to piece together the intricate web of identities and aliases spun by the chameleon killer. No longer was the killer a phantom who vanished without a trace. They were now a tangible figure, their movements traceable through the forensic evidence they had unwittingly left behind. As the full extent of the chameleon killer's crimes came to light, the authorities began to close in on their target. A task force was formed, comprising of elite investigators from multiple countries, all united in their determination to bring the killer to justice. This monumental collaboration marked a turning point in the case as the net began to tighten around the elusive predator who had terrorized the world for so long. But as the manhunt intensified, the chameleon killer would reveal one final twist, a shocking revelation that would shake the very foundations of the investigation and force the authorities to question everything they thought they knew about the case. As the International Task Force continued to analyze the evidence and track the movements of the chameleon killer, they began to close in on their target. They soon discovered that the killer had a pattern of visiting a remote cabin in the French Alps between their murderous sprees. This critical piece of information led investigators to believe that they were on the verge of apprehending the elusive predator. 
However, as they dug deeper into the cabin's history, a shocking twist emerged. The cabin had once belonged to a retired police officer named Henry Dubois. Henry had been a respected and dedicated officer who had served with distinction throughout his career. He had been known for his keen investigative skills and unwavering commitment to justice. But what the investigators discovered next would change everything. It appeared that Henry's younger brother, Philip, had been living in the cabin for several years. Philip, a charismatic and highly intelligent individual, had always been envious of his older brother's success. Driven by a need for power and control, he had secretly embarked on a life of crime, using his innate ability to manipulate and deceive those around him. As the investigators delved further into Philip's past, they uncovered a chilling secret. He had been responsible for the murder of a young woman in their hometown nearly a decade earlier. The realization that one of their own had been harboring a killer within his family shook the entire law enforcement community to its core. In a desperate attempt to protect his family's name and reputation, Henry had unwittingly aided his brother by providing him with a safe haven and access to the resources he needed to continue his killing spree. Consumed by guilt and overwhelmed by the devastating revelation, Henry found himself torn between loyalty to his brother and his duty to uphold the law. The discovery of this dark family secret sent shockwaves through the International Task Force. Their collective resolve to bring the Chamelian killer to justice was now fueled by a personal connection and a desire to avenge the countless lives destroyed by Philip's twisted actions. As the manhunt reached a fever pitch, the world held its breath, waiting for the final showdown between the Chameleon Killer and the authorities who had dedicated their lives to unmasking him. Armed with the newfound knowledge of the Chameleon Killer's true identity and the betrayal that had allowed him to evade capture for so long, the International Task Force sprang into action. They set their sights on a small town in South America, where intelligence reports indicated Philip Dubois had recently taken refuge under yet another assumed identity. Working in close coordination with local law enforcement, the task force meticulously planned a daring raid to apprehend the elusive killer. With the element of surprise on their side, they hoped to finally bring an end to the Chameleon Killer's reign of terror and restore justice for the countless victims whose lives had been so cruelly cut short. As dawn broke on the day of the operation, heavily armed tactical units stealthily closed in on Philip's hideout, a secluded villa on the outskirts of town. The air was thick with tension as the teams prepared to confront a man who had proven time and again that he would do anything to avoid capture. With a signal from the lead commander, the assault began. Teams breached the villa from multiple entry points, their weapons trained on the shadowy figure they had been hunting for so long. Cornered and with no escape, Philip was finally forced to face the consequences of his heinous crimes. The arrest was swift and decisive, bringing to an end one of the most extensive and complex manhunts in modern history. As news of the Chameleon Killer's capture spread around the world, a collective sigh of relief echoed through the streets of every city where Philip had once preyed upon the unsuspecting. In the aftermath of the operation, Henry Dubois faced the grim reality of his brother's actions and the devastating consequences of his own misguided loyalty. Struggling to come to terms with the magnitude of Philip's betrayal, he vowed to dedicate the remainder of his life to supporting the families of the Chameleon Killer's victims and working to ensure that no other family would suffer the same fate. The Chameleon Killer's capture marked the end of a dark chapter in the annals of true crime. The world was left to grapple with the chilling reality of a predator who had exploited the trust and vulnerability of others to commit his heinous acts. As Philip Dubois awaited trial, the full extent of his crimes and the lives he had shattered would finally be brought to light. And so, we have reached the end of the chilling and twisted tale of the Chameleon Killer, a master of deception whose crimes spanned continents and left a trail of heartbreak and devastation in their wake. It's important to remember that stories like these not only inform and entertain us, but also serve as a reminder to be cautious and vigilant in our own lives. 
Thank you for joining us on this journey into the heart of darkness here on Death Behind. We hope that by shining a light on these sinister stories, we can help create a safer and more aware community where we look out for one another. If you enjoyed this episode and want to delve further into the world of true crime, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest releases. We'll continue to bring you the most shocking and mind-bending cases from around the globe, uncovering the truth that lies behind the headlines. As we part ways, let's take this opportunity to embrace the good in our lives and be grateful for the bonds we share with our friends and family. Let us use the knowledge we gain from these stories to make the world a better place for everyone. Until next time, stay safe, cherish the positive moments, and remember, together, we can make a difference.